Trevor Lawrence, despite the fact that he's been playing with that toe issue for a couple of weeks now, Mike, is playing the best football we've seen of him uh, in his NFL career. He's looking absolutely like the guy who was the number one overall pick in that same draft uh, with Zach Wilson. And you look at the way that they've kind of built. I remember Philadelphia once referred to it as the nest when they had the the guys around the quarterback when Carson Wentz was coming up and playing at an MVP level in year two. And it was at that time, it was Doug Peterson, but he had Mike Grow there. Uh, and he had John DeFilippo there in, in Jacksonville. Now it's Doug. And he's got Press Taylor, who, of course, is also a member of that Eagles staff. It's Mike McCoy, who's an experienced offensive coordinator and quarterback guy. They've found that way to kind of surround him, it seems, with the right people. They've obviously also invested in a bunch of weapons. And he, I mean, he looks like a legitimate starting franchise type quarterback right now. He, he does. And, and, uh, you know, this was this was year two, and then all of a sudden they loaded up. You, you often see that. Like, you'll get a high draft pick, and then they load up around him um, in in year two. Because for various reasons, you know, teams usually, if they've got a high draft pick, they're kind of rebuilding, and they're not yet ready to make that splurge in free agency or whatever they do. I remember it back when I covered the Giants with Eli Manning. Year one, he had a money tumor, and I kill you. And it's like, okay, he needs some more help. So before year two, they go out and they get Plaxico Burris. They added a couple of offensive linemen as well, and it's like, okay, all of a sudden they were retooled and he had more to work with. You're going to see it in Chicago with Justin Fields um, this offseason. They're going to be uh, big spenders to start to surround him uh, with some talent at the receiver and tight end position and, and, and whatnot. they got Cole Komet, but um, they'll reload for him. So you saw it with Jacksonville this past offseason, and now these guys are starting to hit a little bit. Zay Jones has really come on. Uh, it's really clicked for him. Um, Evan Ingram. Evan Ingram's a great story. Coming back to MetLife Stadium tonight and really starting to get into the swing of things. And, you know, Doug Peterson's um, been good about, you know, it was Zach Ertz and uh, I believe he was there for the start of Dallas Goddard. Yeah, being able to use uh, tight ends out of various positions. And uh, all of a sudden it seems to be clicking for Evan Ingram as well. So, uh, with Lawrence being able to get these guys uh, and hit them in rhythm and that toe injury that you talked about, I did talk to Peterson about it. He said he feels it during the game, but it doesn't affect his mobility, and it's been getting better. Um, so that's really helped him as well. He's also, since that Denver game, uh, and Doug mentioned this before, he mentioned this to me again the other day, so that interception that he threw in, Den or in London excuse me, against Denver that was a turning point for him. It was a, I've got to make better decisions. I've got to play better football. And since then, he really has. So uh, give Trevor Lawrence a ton of credit for everything that he dealt with last year and now really building on things this year and moving in the right direction. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.